Did you ever wonder what it would be like to live and work in space? Here's a video that discusses just that. Morning routine in space. The needs of astronauts in space are the same as those of people on Earth. Hair wash, teeth brushing, shaving, and bathroom visits are all part of their daily routine. However, astronauts take different care of themselves because of the microgravity environment. The astronauts use rinseless shampoo that was originally developed for hospital patients who could not take a shower. Personal hygiene kits are common among astronauts. Each astronaut has selected their own personal hygiene items to take with them. Whenever possible, personal preferences are accommodated, such as toothpaste brands. In general, dental hygiene is the same as on Earth. Eating in space. Imagine camping with a group of close friends for more than a week. You would prepare plenty of food and make sure you had the equipment to cook and eat it. Just before your ride home, you would stow all your gear and dispose of your trash properly after your camping trip. When astronauts go to space, they basically do the same thing. There are different preparation methods for different types of food. There are some foods that can be eaten in their natural form, such as brownies and fruit. The addition of water is required for other foods, such as macaroni and cheese or spaghetti. There is, of course, an oven at the space station for heating foods. In space, there are no refrigerators, so food must be stored and prepared properly to avoid spoilage. There are three meals a day for astronauts, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. A balanced supply of vitamins and minerals is ensured by nutritionists in the food astronauts eat. There's a difference in the calorie requirements for astronauts. A small woman would need only about 1,900 calories per day, while a large man would need about 3,200. Disposable packages are used to package space food, just as they are on Earth. After eating, astronauts must throw away their packages. Free time in space. You don't have to work all the time to live in space. Having fun is important for astronauts as well. When you're staying aboard the International Space Station for a few months, it's okay to look out the window, play with your food, or tease your crewmates. It is essential for astronauts to take breaks from their hectic schedules when they are orbiting the Earth. Working straight for days, even months, is certain to cause stress among space workers. As a result, flight planners on Earth schedule time for astronauts to relax, exercise, and have fun each day. On board the space station, crew members have many opportunities to relax and play. Weekends are off for astronauts, just like everyone else who works full time. Every day, crew members watch movies, listen to music, read books, play cards, and talk to their families. Exercise in space. In order to prevent bone and muscle loss, astronauts aboard the station exercise every day. Astronauts exercise two hours a day on average. There's a difference between the equipment they use and what we use on Earth. On Earth, lifting 200 pounds can be a lot of work. It would be much easier to lift the same object in space. Microgravity would make it much lighter than 200 pounds. Working in space. As astronauts orbit the Earth, they perform a variety of tasks. The space station is intended to serve as a permanent research facility in orbit. Its primary purpose is to perform world-class research and science in a microgravity environment. During the day, the station crew works on science experiments that require their input as well as monitoring those controlled from the ground. Also, they participate in medical experiments to determine how well their bodies adjust to living in microgravity. In order to maintain their largest investment, crew members are constantly checking support systems and cleaning filters, updating computer equipment, sleeping in space. Nothing beats a good night's sleep after a long day at work. Just like on Earth, workers in space go to bed at a certain time, then wake up and prepare for work. However, there are a few differences. There is no up or down in space, but there is microgravity. Thus, astronauts are weightless and can sleep in any position. Attaching themselves is necessary so they don't float around and bump into things. Crew members usually sleep in small crew cabins with sleeping bags. There is just enough room for one person in each crew cabin. Using toilet in space. A bathroom full of handholds and footholds keeps astronauts from drifting off. 
When they pee, they can stand or sit and hold the funnel and hose tightly against their skin. Like here on Earth, astronauts lift the lid of the toilet and sit on the seat to poop. The toilet, however, starts suctioning as soon as the lid is lifted to prevent things from floating away. And to control the smell. Unlike the toilet in your home, the astronaut's toilet seat is smaller so that it fits tight against their behinds. More than 90s of urine is water. Rather than bring clean water up from the Earth, it is better to recycle pee. Scientists sometimes study astronaut poop, but most of the time bathroom waste, including poop, is burned. Bags of poop are vacuumed into airtight containers. Thanks for watching.